Hey Leo, hope you guys are all doing well. So this is going to be your general love reading for the first half of February 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Could be for yourself or somebody you're cross-watching for. Either way, the rules can be reversed. And keep in mind that this reading is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. But if you'd like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. All right, so let's see what's going on with Leo, first half of February 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, we have the Three of Swords crossed by the Four of Cups. Ooh. All right, Leo, there's a lot of pain here for somebody. It might even be the both of you. Maybe there has been some kind of a breakup or some kind of a heartbreak, um, but there's definitely a lot of pain that you or the other person are dealing with. And this is creating a lot of disappointment, a lot of unhappiness. Let's see, for the recent past, we have the Page of Cups. Okay, so maybe for some of you, there's been um, some communication or, or if it's not a matter of communication, there's definitely love here and there's been love here. We'll see more when we clarify. For you, we have the Two of Swords and the Devil. All right, well, you're, you're definitely feeling a little bit conflicted here, possibly just, it's almost coming in like a denial of maybe what you're feeling um, or maybe not, not seeing something. We'll see. For them, we have the Fool and the Four of Swords. They're definitely feeling like the way this is coming in, it's almost like um, trying to balance like on a on a rope is, is the image that I got. Um, wanting to take a step forward in a new direction, but feeling like they're like they're about to lose control here. But there's also definitely some healing that is happening for this person with the four of swords. Let's see, for the near future, we have the Six of Wands, and the message here is the Six of Pentacles. Okay, well, something is definitely um, moving in a very more positive type of a direction here with that Six of Wands coming up in the near future, okay? This is some kind of a, of a victory or a success over something. And I also do see that balance is coming in as well. So let's clarify. Let's see what's going on here. Because it's feeling a little bit vague other than that pain. So let's see. Let's clarify that Three of Swords with the Four of Cups. All right, the Queen of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, okay, well, there's definitely a lot of love here. Um, there's definitely a lot of love between you and this other person, so I feel like, yeah, that's why the energy might be feeling so heavy at the moment with whatever it is that has caused this, this pain. It also feels like there's this sense of... Um, insecurity, a, a fear of losing this Ten of Cups. Like, it, it's like, and, and that's what's creating this pain. I mean, there's definitely something that has happened here, right? There is this disappointment, this sense of unhappiness, but th with that, or that is actually influenced by um, this, this insecurity of losing happiness or losing this love. Let's see the page of cups in the recent past. All right, the eight of wands and the four of wands. I definitely feel like for, for a lot of you, this might not be for everybody, but for a lot of you, I feel like there has been some kind of a communication in terms of commitment or in terms of a, of a specific um, 
connection or marriage. This could have to do between the two of you or maybe there is somebody else involved. All right, because I know this is the Page of Cups, but it actually shows three people um, in the image. Either that, either there was communication about that or some action was taken concerning a particular commitment here. Um, whatever the case though, this has actually um, led up to there being a lot of pain in the present moment and a fear of losing a very um, powerful connection here. Let's see that Two of Swords for you. We have the Moon. Okay, so that's Pisces. The Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands. Yeah, it, it feels almost like you feel like you're losing yourself. And not that you are, but that you feel, you might be feeling that way. Um, almost like not really knowing which direction you should take. Or how to find yourself again through this. How can you feel... Um, you know, like you're standing in your power when it's like there's there's this pain here. And that could be what's keeping you in this devil's energy. Let's actually see that devil. Okay, the chariot, so cancer energy also showing up here. The Two of Swords again, and a Strength. Okay, so that's your own energy showing up as well. What's going on, Leo? Again, it feels like, yeah, like you're losing, like you, you feel like you're losing control or you feel like you've lost control. There's the sense of um, having lost this Ten of Cups or feeling like it's just gone or that you don't know how to have that or if you will have that. And for some of you, this might even be a little bit on a subconscious level with that moon being here. Um, but the message for you here though is what you're not seeing is is really you are there. Your, your own self is there. Your power is there. You do have control over your own self and you do have the strength and the courage that is needed for you to get through whatever this is for you. It's like that devil is just an illusion. There's something about this situation that's just an illusion. It's like, it's like you're not able to see what's going on um, either like behind the scenes or like underneath the superficial layers of whatever appears to be happening here. It's almost like you're so immersed in the in the pain or in, you know, the, whatever it is that you feel like you're losing. Part of it being happiness, part of it maybe even being yourself or like what you would really want. That it's, it's kind of hard to see the bigger picture. But again, there's something about this that's just an illusion. And that's creating pain as well. And it's it's kind of like it's throwing you like in this downward spiral. And so I feel like, you know, if this resonates with you, well then the reason why you're watching this, this video is so that you can actually see that. So that this can be pointed out to you so that you can get a grasp on that. And, you know, if, if not, okay, well then maybe it's just not your reading and that's okay. So let's see what's going on with this person here. Let's see the fool. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. And the Nine of Wands. There's definitely a shift here that is happening for them, and I do feel like it's positive. So this could be part of what you're not seeing if this is... Um, you know, connection that you really want, and it does feel that way. Um, from the rest of the cards that we're getting here, this person is, there's something that they're facing that's really, really challenging, but they're actually 
pushing through it. They're feeling like, like I said, it's like they're doing this balancing act like on a very thin rope, like having to walk on a rope over like, um, like this huge drop into the ocean or something. So it's feeling very uncomfortable for them. But, but they're not giving up. I see them actually moving in that direction. Let's see the Four of Swords. All right, we have the Lovers, Gemini Energy, the Page of, the page of Swords, and the Three of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely something here that has been set into motion, all right? Um, especially when it comes to making possibly a decision when it, um, in terms of love. They're definitely feeling the connection between the two of you very, very strongly here, okay? With the Lover's card being here. And it does feel like they're also very interested in what might be going on with you, even if that's not apparent to you. Because I feel like it might not be. But something has been set into motion. Yes, it might be taking a little bit of time with this Three of Wands. Um, and that's because this person is still healing. But it's like while they're healing, it's like they're still taking this risk here and moving in a new direction that they may have been resisting for a very long time. which is coming up in the near future we have the eight of pentacles and we have the king of pentacles somebody is definitely working on their stability um and that is going to be successful basically and i'm also seeing that first of all i do feel like it is um related to the person that you're dealing with here might be dealing with an earth sign um, for some of you. But I also feel like this is you, being able to really um, gain control over what it is that you feel like you're losing control over within your own self or in relation to this connection. And really what it's about is what you choose to focus on. Are you going to focus on the loss and on the fear of not having that 10 of cups? Like you don't you don't have to focus on that because I feel like it's not it's not helping you. That's what's throwing you down that that spiral. Like again, there's something you can't see here, and being okay with not knowing everything, you know, might be the key here. Definitely a sense of victory. Definitely somebody focusing on on becoming more. Um, stable or even in terms of commitment possibly working on how to be able to provide a commitment here All right, so let's see the six of pentacles for the message for you Okay, we have the High Priestess, the Fool showing up again, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, okay, so there's definitely something new that is happening here with that Fool, all right? Because this is relating back to that, to the other person here. There's definitely some kind of risk that is being taken, but it's like things have to come into some kind of a balance first or in the process. And I feel like that balance is also... Um, it also has to do with you, like you being able to find that balance within your own self is kind of like it's, it's helping everything else as well, all right? Don't focus on that conflict that's going on within you. Don't focus on what it is that you don't like. Don't ignore it, don't ignore your emotions, but also don't focus on the negatives is what I'm getting here. All right, you can't, there's certain things that, again, that are like not, you're not able to see them. The High Priestess. 
And I feel like that's relating to that fool, to some kind of action that this other person is taking. So, Leo, if this resonated. Let's see the final message for you. All right, and we have, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's the number one, and it says, make peace with your past. So yeah, whatever it is that may have happened here, as much as you can at least, try to make peace with that, because that's what's going to help you to find that, to find that balance. Make peace with the past, allow things to just be what they are, and know that, you know, some things you just can't see, and that's okay. So those were your messages, Leo. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.